Yeah, hello scrappers. Yeah, I got a pretty good load on it. I probably could have thrown a little bit more on. I got a couple of other bicycles I could throw up on top. But I got it pretty well loaded. Got a little bit of room here, but I'm happy with what's on there. So. You see it's pretty full. Yeah, disconnect this real quick. It's probably got plenty of pressure. Thing leaks, so. Yeah, just over 80. We're good. I aired these up yesterday. They were completely flat, these back two. <coughs> I gotta check the other one here. But I'm getting it ready to go. Truck's warming up. So I'll check this one here as soon as I get done with the video. Fixing to take it in. I'm going to metal checks. So I don't know if I can video dumping the load or not. I might give it a shot. Got this flipped over. <coughs> Couldn't pick it up. I got the forks under it and drug it back, but I wasn't able to pick it up any. So, but I'm going to try to cut across about here. Try to cut across there. Get to hit the catalytic converter off of there and maybe try to get some of this heavier metal off of here get that brace and get the calipers a little bit of short iron you know, Chris Lessing said uh, wash top pipe and steel is paying too what he said 10, 10 cents a pound or something like that for short. I, thought, I figured it up and it's 210 a ton. And that's what, that's what I'm getting on shred at the metal check. But metal check doesn't have a short iron category or prepared steel. They just, one price, that's it. So they just smash it all up into a cube and load it on a truck and send it on its way. So I'm gonna get off of here and we'll, get it to up to the city and find out what it weighs and what it pays so see you in a bit well I made it to metal check looks like they're popular today let's see what let's see one two three four five vehicles ahead of me and look at that mountain they would have a lot of room to maneuver your truck and trailer around in here it's, even though it is a small yard but uh, <laughs> That mountain sure doesn't help any. Looks like just plastic gas tanks, tires, dirt. Who knows what's in that pile? Yep, starting to move a little bit. So hopefully it won't be too hard to get in there and get positioned and dumped. And it's coming in. Coming down 44th, I noticed uh, there in Valley Brook place uh, I used to go take a lot of my stuff uh, gold metal recycling it looks like they might have might have a recycling center back in there again so I may have to stop by and get their card and number so I can check their prices and may start going back over there a lot more uh, a lot more personal over there here everybody well the guy at the guard, uh, uh, scale house you can talk to him personally. Everybody else is behind glass windows and whatnot. And then you pay, get paid out with an ATM. When gold metal was over to the other place, they paid you cash. You know, and of course they, they were still behind a window, but you could talk with them. But I'll see if I put this on the uh, camera up on the toolbox or something when I get ready to dump. So we'll see. So back in a bit.
<laughs> oh, got it all out of there. Wasn't too bad getting in here. Not too bad at all. Put the magnet on the bottom of the camera, but the toolbox is aluminum. Look at that guy. Yeah. Good luck, huh? Gotta close the door, get this all the way down, close the doors, and then go wait in line and get back on the scales. Find out what I got. Find out what it weighed, find out what it paid. Yeah, when prices are good, the line gets long. Yeah, I got the payout. First, get back to the ATM, and it says the barcode not supported, so I had to go to the payout window. And we got $504. Not a bad payday at all. And what that net down here, 4,000, 4,800 pounds. Like I say, if I get a lot of appliances on there, I'm usually under two ton, under 4,000 pounds. But if I get a lot of little stuff, you know, I can get some weight on there. That's why I'm kind of thinking about widening out my staging area where I can back my utility trailer in there. Try to do just all the pickups I can with the little trailer and put the 16 foot trailer in there and uh, and use it for appliances and then I can use the white truck to, you know three quarter ton to drive it up here to unload it and unload it by hand and just put little stuff in the dump but I'm gonna get off of here thank everybody for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video uh, I want to also guys remind you of my Amazon affiliate link there will be a link in the description below the video. It helps support the channel. So if there's any grinding discs, other stuff like that, go ahead and take a look and see what's on there. And uh, if there's anything you need, uh, from what I understand, if you click the, the link there and purchase something within 24 hours or something, then I get a little commission off of uh, advertising. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.